Okay, so that's a scorpion foot shot. There's generally four different ways to do it, and depending on which side feels more confident for you, it might be a different dominant side for you than if you're just left or right-handed. But when I typically do it, my most dominant way is to go from my lead, my lead side under the outside of my lead leg and then onto my anchor foot. And it's important that when you do a scorpion foot shot that you don't have your knee bent, you want your leg straight. You want it to the side and you want it to catch on your foot. And then is what you're doing is you're doing a little foot turn in behind you. And then for a short period of time, it's actually just spinning. So it's up to you to release at the right time. So it flies straight. It's not so much up to your foot. Although both of them combined can make a really accurate foot shot. And if you want to really make it look fancy, you really want to throw your foot all the way up there and try and look like you're doing like a scorpion kick. Okay, so your other variation is going to be under the outside of your other leg, so my anchor leg, and then onto my lead foot. That's your second variation, which is basically the inverse of the first one. And either one of those could feel more or less comfortable than the other for you. So it's important to try both of them, figure out which one is easier for you to do, and then focus on your hard one. The other variations are going to be used as entrances into dark walls, which is behind your back, and waist straps. How that works is if you cast it back onto the same foot of the leg you're, you're going under. So if I go under my lead leg and then back onto my lead foot, I can throw it into what's known as a waist strap. And then similarly to get out of it, I can go under my anchor leg onto my anchor foot and shoot it out. And that's a fun sequence you can do. You can go back onto the same foot back onto the same foot. That was a little sloppy. Okay, and then your last variation is going to be the dark wall one. So it's going to be under your anchor foot. And then onto your anchor foot. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope that helps.